I messed up. Oh, okay, we're in. I guess I formatted an, oh, a car. <laughs> this is so silly. All right. Okay, we're on the bus. Full disclosure, last video was me putting in the bed. But I've done a lot more since then. I'm like a month behind. I can't find my couch builds anywhere. Built two couches, about to show them to you. But unfortunately, I can't show you the actual in progress. Here's couch number one. We also kept it simple when building this couch. Half inch plywood facing the couch. Piano hinge. And then if you open this up, you get to see the guts. A little sticky still. I just found this somewhere, so this will support it. So what I have here is a basic wooden frame. These are all two by fours that were ripped in half. We've got two by fours supporting the outside so that all the force is going down onto the two by fours. This one is pretty much supported by the wheel well box and then by that one. Essentially, we just made a really basic box and then faced it with plywood. And then we put this piano hinge on, loud. I made it so that the face and the sides are half an inch taller so the top sits in there. Now, you're probably asking yourselves, like that's just a box, it's not a couch. Why would I want to sit on that? Bam, now you got a couch. Oh, look at that, it's nice. <sighs> All right, so all the credit for everything else now goes to Val. Top cushions resting right at the windowsill, which means that we have a six inch mattress, a six inch slip cover, and then these pre-made pillows on the back there. And guess what? We have two couches that are identical. Okay, hold on, I'll show you the other one. Boom! So much luxury happening in here these days. I can't even get any work done anymore because I just want to lay here. I just feel like you're inside and you're outside at the same time. Okay, so we knew we wanted to have sleeping options for guests big enough for someone to sleep on. We designed them around an RV twin size mattress, which is 28 inches by 75 inches. We got two of those, and then we contacted a custom cushion maker who we found on Etsy, also sells on Amazon, called Mikama Design, which we'll link to at the bottom. They have several different fabric options, really high quality couch fabrics. And we chose this one after receiving a sample and they make these really cool wedge bolsters that are reminiscent of a mid-century day bed. So because this is a mattress, this is an incredibly comfortable place to lay down. And plenty big enough. It's made by Fortnite on Amazon. It's made in the US, it's a really solid mattress, but it's not too firm. And I think it was a, under $100, maybe $80, $90. I also wanna mention that Mikama Design is a custom cushion maker. So any size mattress that you have, they'll make the cushions on the back to fit the length. The mattress itself, so it doesn't have a full zip off cover. It's stretchy the way like a fitted sheet is which I also like because I can just pull it off and put a sheet on here for when it's sleeping arrangements for someone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If not, no big deal. And next up, AC wiring. See you later.